This is an instruction for MS SOX, a global number one unique marine scrubber system. The MS SOX scrubber is manufactured in high grade steel and designed to run continuously in a wet condition. The MS SOX scrubber is designed to mix the gas with water to remove socks and particulate matter. Exhaust gas pipe is conducted to the scrubber unit. Scrubbing water is supplied from LT cooler in an outlet and pumped to the scrubber unit. The wash water is drained from the EGC unit and discharged cooling seawater overboard. The discharge water quality is monitored through the wash water monitoring system. Scrubber The scrubber unit is where the water is sprayed in multiple stages. Internal mist eliminator at the top of top spray effectively prevents water droplets to be carried away with the outlet gas flow. Scrubber pump. Three seawater supply pumps are installed to deliver seawater to the scrubber. These pumps are located in the lower engine room part. Location of these pumps in engine room will be different depending on ship's condition. Scrubbing water is supplied from LT cooler in an outlet. Sea water suction operation mode is consisted of two selection modes. This is the procedure of seawater suction from before central FW cooler. First, the SC16 valve is closed. Then, the SC12 valve is opened and SC11 valve is closed. And then, SC14 valve and SC15 valve are opened. Next is the procedure of seawater suction from after central FW cooler. First, the SC16 valve is closed. Then, SC12 valve is closed and SC11 valve is opened. After that, SC14 valve is adjusted and SC15 valve is opened. Operation mode. Operation mode is consisted of two selection modes, auto operation and manual operation. First of all, all lines are lined up and scrubber pump panel switch is powered on. Then you can select the operation mode. Operation sequence. This is a sequence of starting up and shutting down the scrubber system. Scrubber control panel. The scrubber control panel is separately installed in the engine control room. The MS SOX is equipped with an automation system for operation monitoring, and safety control. A dedicated EGC control unit with a display is provided. A separate panel for installation in the control room is included. Field sensors and control valves are included. Interfaces to ship alarm monitoring system are GPS External Starting and Stopping Request Main Engine and Generator Engines Run Signal and Load Signal Damper Valve Control 
Interface to ship AMS can be hardwired or Modbus. All emission data are logged in a data logger located in the main control panel. Reports from data logger can be transferred to USB memory stick as PFD format. Scrubber system overview. This screen allows for an overview of the scrubber operation. Auto operation. This screen allows for an overview of the scrubber auto operation. Manual operation. This screen allows an overview of the scrubber manual operation. Pump overview. This screen allows an overview of the scrubber pump operation. Data log. This screen allows an overview of EGCS log. Data log can be extracted from PLC data logger and transferred to USB memory stick as PDF format. This is an instruction for auto operation in the scrubber control panel. First, press the auto button and press the EGCS start button. Then you can see the SC16 valve is locked. After that, the two seawater pumps run and the system starts. On manual operation mode, you can select the options for each part. If you press the button of each part, you can select the options freely. Exhaust gas. Exhaust gas is redirected from the funnel to the scrubber by damper valve control. The dampers are designed to make the exhaust gas flow through the valves. Damper valve control. If valves of group A is on open condition, the valves of group B will be closed or vice versa. This is automatically controlled by main control system. Valves of group A. 
SC61V, SC62V, SC63V, SC64V to funnel. Fail to open. Valve subgroup B, SC65V, SC66V, SC67V, SC68V to scrubber. Fail to steady. The EGC system is designed to reduce SUX emissions to a level not exceeding an equivalent of 0.10% million for minute sulfur content in the fuel. When the combustion units are operated on a fuel containing up to 3.50% million for minute sulfur. The CEMS allows operators to know that the EGC is working by measuring the amount of SO2 and CO2 in the exhaust gas after scrubbing. CEMS Sample Probe The probe is inserted at the top of the scrubber. It continuously collects an exhaust gas sample and the sample is analyzed for gas content. The ambient temperature of the conditioning cabinet should be kept below 55 degrees Celsius. CEMS Gas Calibration Touch the screen on the panel. Press Menu Adjustment Setting Spam Gas and adjust SO2 or CO2. Connect the spam gas to the spam gas valve. Start adjustment by pressing the start button. Adjust the pressure on the cylinder pressure reducer so that the flow shown is between 200 and 400 liter per hour. The optimal flow is between 250 and 300 liter per hour. The adjustment is done by counting the SO2 and CO2 backwards. When the counting reaches zero, the calibration is finished and the finished message appears on the screen.
Gas Sampling System Maintenance Switch Analyzer to Maintenance Enter Password Switch analyzer to standby. Flush system for 10 minutes in this state. Remove the screws. Remove the weatherproof cover. Loosen the rotary handle counterclockwise and swivel the mounting bracket to the right. Pull the filter cover out using the rotary handle. Remove the O-ring. Pull out the bottom flat seal. Insert new bottom flat seal. Replace O-ring and insert new or cleaned center fine filter cartridge. Swing back the mounting bracket and tighten the rotary handle. Put the weatherproof cover back on. Tighten the screws. Reset operation hours counter. Reset standby signal. Wait till conditioning is finished.
Reset Maintenance Signal. WMS Water Monitoring System Total three water monitoring models fulfilling IMO resolution MEPC 259 requirements are provided for water monitoring purposes. The water monitoring system samples are incoming seawater and scrubber effluent. Each of the measurement cabinets will be supplied with monitor unit complete, turbidity analyzer, pH sensor, turbidity sensor, junction box, flow sensor, and non-return valve. Installation of the pH sensor. The pH sensor should only be installed at the time of commissioning when there is water flowing through the measuring cell. The electrolyte inside the pH probe will dry out and the probe will be damaged if it is installed prior to commissioning in a measuring cell without any water in it. Follow the below steps to install the pH sensor. 1. Unscrew the gray knot on the pH sensor and pull up the sensor from the measuring chamber, figure A. 2. Unscrew the oil pH electrode by turning it counterclockwise, figure B. 3. If present, Unscrew the shipping plug by turning it counterclockwise. Figure C. 4. Warning. The new electrode must be kept moist at all times. If the electrode dries out, it will not work properly. Figure D and E. 5. Before refitting the new pH electrode to the sensor, remove any type or other packing material without removing the protective cap. Figure E. 6. Before reinstalling the pH sensor, make sure that the measuring chamber is half filled with water. 7. Remove the protective cap just before reinstalling the pH sensor in the measuring chamber. Figure F.